This is ANN News Brief. Good afternoon. I'm Lucy Ademi. Somali legislators have dropped an impeachment motion against President Mohamed Abdullahi Famajo. Close to 100 members of parliament have submitted on Sunday a vote of no confidence on the president. They said he secretly signed agreements that touched on the use of Somali ports and economic security cooperation with other countries, including Ethiopia and Eritrea. He was also accused of violating Somalia's federalism law and the rules and regulations of parliament. The impeachment process could not be initiated because of a lack of support and required number of signatures. A parliamentary clerk issued a statement saying 14 legislators had withdrawn their names from the 92 who supported the move. They said their names were wrongly used and they did not support the motion. In Kenya, new currency coins that replace the images of president with animals has been unveiled. President Uhuru Kenyatta said while presiding over the rollout in the capital Nairobi, the features on the new 1, 5, 10 and 20 shilling coins embrace Kenya's historical and cultural heritage. Central Bank officials said the new look coins featuring a lion, elephant, hippo and giraffe would serve as a means of passing knowledge conserving culture and promoting Kenya's global uniqueness. Authorities also say the coins are featured that are more appealing to visually impaired people. Kenyan constitution that came into effect eight years ago prohibits the use of a person's portrait on the country's currencies. Stay with us, we'll be back after this message. <laughs> gives 2,000% bonus for reactivating your MTN sale. That's right! If you haven't used your MTN SIM for 45 days or more, recharge now and get 2,000% bonus. That's right, 2,000% bonus for your first recharge of every month. At least 10 opposition parties in Tanzania have said proposed amendment to a law governing political parties in the country will criminalize their activities. Critics have accused President John Magufuli of increasing cracking down on dissent with restrictions on the political opposition, the media, bloggers and non-governmental organizations. His government denies the accusations. Chairman of the 10 parties, um, Hashim Rongwe, said at a news conference in the capital, Dar es Salaam, the proposed amendment would curtail constitutional freedoms. He says the proposed bill is against the constitution and political parties were not involved from initial stages and their views were not considered. Rongwe says the bill is full of criminal punishment for minor infringement which make political activities crimes. Among its provisions, the new law would ban parties from functioning as activist groups. It will give sweeping powers to a government official to suspend or fire a party member for a range of reasons and also gives the official influence over internal party elections. The government says the law is needed to force parties to adhere to the country's constitution. That's the NN News Brief. Thanks for watching. For details on these and other stories, visit our website, nnafrica.net. Also join the conversation on Facebook. Facebook.com forward slash Alien Africa TV, Instagram and Twitter at Alien Africa TV. I am Lucy Adeyemi. Join us again at 5.